Welcome back to another episode of Woolly TV. This time we've got a Firewire Dan Man sweet potato. It's an update of the old sweet potato. It's got a swallow tail. There's a few little changes in it. It is just the board for groveling on the days you wouldn't surf. All those days you might take a longboard out, I'd take something out like this. You should be able to ride it in really, really small surf. This one is 5'6", 37.8 litres. It's got the future boxes, comes with a double concave right through the board up until under your front foot and fades out into the nose. I don't know if you can see it there, but hopefully you can. And then that should help you get rail to rail on it. It's so wide, so flat, so thick, but it's got a flat deck. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's got a flat deck and then it just rolls down to the rail. Right from here to here is dead flat. So you've got all that foam there under your feet. It looks super fun. I'm gonna try and ride it as a quad and a thruster, but I'd look at the tail shape. I reckon it's gonna be go better as a two plus one or a quad for me. Let's get this thing in some really average surf and see how it goes. <laughs> well, it's got a lot of volume in it, so I'm adding weight to myself. These aren't sweet potato chips. I'm trying to fill myself up. I've got lots of weight around here.
first surf on the sweet potato. Pretty much wouldn't have surfed today on any of my normal boards. Even my grovelers probably would have gone okay out there, but this thing was a lot of fun. A bit challenging to get my feet in the right spot to start with, and then I slowly found my groove on it. I ended up riding 20 ENs in the back with some little quad rears in there, black stick quad rears. Only four inch, so they're not, not large, I think they're a medium. So loaded up with the surface area and that gave it like quite a lot of drive. It's really flat, so it paddles like unbelievably. I barely missed a wave. Paddles even better than I thought it would for that size volume board. Gets onto waves, like the tiniest little waves, you get on them and you can generate speed. Even if you just want to stand there, the board will just pick up and glide along the wave really easy. I figured out how to, it's very horizontal because it's quite flat and wide. So you surf it horizontal, down the line, floaters, cutbacks, cut little spinners, and that was it. But normally I wouldn't surf today, so that was a good thing. You. Go surfboarding and go off.
out there by myself. Can't understand why. Probably because it's flat. So they have to dodge rocks every time I got a little peel of those rocks. I mean, these flies are driving me nuts. Board does what it's supposed to do. I could not believe some of the little ones I actually paddled into stood up and still planed on it. I played with the fins. But that's okay, because look, I'm living the dream. Always living the dream. But I thought I'd try it as a two plus one on my backhand, see how that goes. Because the quad went good and I enjoyed it with those big ENs in the front and the little quads, and that's what I rode it as the whole time. So I put in some big, these are the biggest 20s I've got in my quiver. Living the dream. Not bad, not bad. Oh, look at that little sneaky right down there. Uh oh, look at that little right. She had to do a, a layered haircut for her TAFE, so. I was the model. I thought you'd seen me since then, but no. maybe not. Maybe we haven't filmed an episode since this new flash haircut. And the goat too. That was my first surf for a few weeks, so you'll have to excuse the kookiness. Big set of AMs in there, twins and a little stabiliser. And it freed the board up a lot because I was running it as a quad with the ENs and the big 20s in the front and the quad rears in the back, which was really good in the small stuff. But yeah, it was fun on my backhand set up like this. Oh, the last one. Oh, I did like a funny sort of bit of a boggy turn because I got stuck in the whitewash. Then I come to the inside, there's a little closeout and I was going to float it. But nah, I'm gonna throw down a little donut instead. And it felt sick, I could have come down with the lip and <laughs> pretty fun. But that's it, the board's done. Last surf, it's done. That was enough, eh? Yeah, well, was that enough? Plenty. What a lot of fun I had on this. Those days, it was tiny, that little right hand out. There's no way I would have gone for a surf at all. And I had a ball on it. And then I finished it off with a little left end, mixed up the fins, changed them up. Got these big guys in there in a tiny little trailer, so I rode it as a two plus one. That was just enough fin for me. I could have even probably put a bigger trailer in, I reckon, just to give it a little bit more hold. But I reckon on my forehand, it would have been a great combo, but I rode it on my backhand. That last surf, it carries over dead sections. It's a hell of a lot of fun. The thing is so flat though, you just got to remember, it's built for the flat part of the waves, a lot of horizontal surfing, not so much in the pocket, couple of times I had a little challenge trying to get it up into the lip and then I went oh that's right I'm on the sweet potato I've got to surf it 
because it's so flat, you've got to surf it really flat and horizontal. A lot of fun, massive thumbs up. I reckon for smallest waves like knee high and below, I don't think I've ridden a better board for really, really glov grovely, <laughs> grovely sloppy waves. I could get going in just about anything on this and I liked it both as a quad and the two plus one. So if you're looking for an absolute groveler or you're a bigger guy and you want to get a board with a lot of foam in it that catches waves very, very easily due to the fact that it's really flat and wide in the nose, then this is an absolute beauty for you guys. You can scale it right up. It'll paddle as good as a longboard. I was catching absolutely anything on this wave. So thanks to the guys at Firewire. Appreciate the support. Thanks to you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like and comment below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Wooly TV. You. I didn't understand how much blah blah blahs they had in the blah blah. Still there. Oh, I didn't know you watched this long either. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and put the comments down there. You. I'm going to ignore you now. Like a hippie. Yeah. Look at this hot potato, hot potato. Welcome back to another episode of Wooly TV. We'll just wait for the wind. <laughs>